My name is Helen Yawson. I'm a singer, a songwriter, minister of the gospel, and a wife. And my God, assist me. Well, my first project was actually in 1999. Uh, it was called Blessed and Highly Favored. I did that because you know a lot of you know when a lot of times when you're singing in church, people are always asking you, so when are you going to? record have you got that song um, recorded somewhere and I've, I didn't want to do it just because people were asking but at that point I felt okay now I think it's um, I felt God telling me this is the time that you need to release your um, first album put some of the songs that I've given you put them down and record them and that's what I did and it was it was a great project and I wrote those songs I remember sitting up late at night writing the songs um, for, for that particular album I think I did one hymn on there so that was really good then I had another project I think that was in 2002. That was called uh, Forever Grateful. And um, we had got like about five, it was like an EP, we had about five um, five songs on there. And that was just a follow-up just to, um, from, from, the, from the first one, because there had been a, quite a wide, uh, a long gap between the first one. So I did that one. And then I had another one, I think 2006, there was a single called Any Day, which was, I wanted to do something different. It was kind of a, uh, I wanted something more upbeat. Normally I'm known for quite a lot of slow songs. I wanted something a bit more upbeat, a bit different from what I normally do. So I got that done and that was, um, I, I had that produced by um, the late Danny Nete. And then I did another one in, uh, 2012, uh, which was uh, My God and I, which is a lot of the worship songs that I'd been writing. And, you know, sometimes some of the songs I'll be praying and God will give me songs. Or sometimes they just, some of the songs were actually my prayers that they, I, I just actually put them to, put them to um, the melodies. So that was 2012. Then after that, I think 2014, I then did a, a hymn project which is I love hymns and um, for me that was that project is very interesting because it has all kind of styles on it swing you know black gospel you know a bit of country it's got everything on there and I was it was very expressive and I actually enjoyed um, doing that one I did that one with Koda um, in Ghana so uh, that was that was that, so that so those are the projects so far I suppose, um, I mean, growing up, first of all, growing up, my father had loads of music. I mean, and the music influences were like different people. I mean, pop artists, rock artists, soulful sing soul singers, jazz, down to local Edo music, <laughs> which I chewed everything. And I didn't even know the names of the people, but I chewed all the music, sang everything, sound of music. I was on that journey too. You know, he sang everything. I mean, anything, whether it was classical, whatever the style is, I picked it up and I sang it. But as I, when I got, when I became a Christian, there were some particular um, artists to really have influenced me. People like Kim Burrell, um, Yolanda Adams, Shirley Caesar, oh, Shirley Caesar, and Helen Baylor. You know, those people have really been great. I sang all Helen Baylor back in tracks. <laughs> you know, I, I sang Yolanda Adams songs. Kim Burrell, well, she was like, well, that was like practice training. If I'm going to sing Kim Burrell, it's training. So, yeah, you know, and Shirley Caesar, for me, Shirley Caesar was her expression. I said, yeah, that's, I love the way she expresses herself. I want to express myself like that. So I would look at, watch her videos and look, and listen to her songs. And so I, I learned, I learned from all these people, but I still felt, okay, you don't want to just um, copy what you've learned. Obviously you learn by imitating, but then obviously I began to develop my own, obviously being able to express myself. Also, I must say I had other people who were, who helped me out. People who, some of my choir directors who were very instrumental in helping me learn how to ad lib and how to express myself. And then mainly as I grew in my walk with God, I found that Lord, the, the, 
aspects of my relationship with God became the expressions. You know, the different parts of my prayer, the longings in my heart, they became my expressions. They became my ad libs. They became my prayers. They became the ad libs, what I was using for my ad libs, that what I was feeling as I worshipped God. They became my ad libs, my expressions, my improvisations came from all from all those things, my relationship with God. I think um, one of the main things that I think that has been very useful is my, my husband is a great support. And I think we always talk about what, I mean, we're both quite busy. So I, obviously I have to share my itinerary, the things that I'm doing, because I do quite a lot of things. Obviously, um, I pastor with my husband. I'm obviously singing is one of the main things that I do. I teach voice as well. So um, I teach worship. So um, we always try to... Um, look out at each other's itinerary we plan and we help each other out sometimes i'm babysitting sometimes he's babysitting um though they're not babies anymore they're teenagers so um we just kind of help we look at each other's itineraries and just help each other out and then when we do need outside help we also get outside help just to make sure we're able to balance things and nothing kind of falls out of place and that everything kind of stays in place once in a while obviously it does get Sometimes a date gets missed and we're both clashed. Um, both dates are clashing, but we kind of work things out. I mean, we're not perfect, but we, we kind of work things out. 